10 things you can do to boost self-confidence. Self-confidence is a feeling of trust in one's qualities, abilities, and judgments. Well, we can also say it is self-assurance in one's judgment ability and power. Self-confidence is important to a person's life and psychological well-being because it is a positive belief that in the future one can accomplish what he wishes to achieve. Dalai Lama, one of the important monks of the Gilug school, the newest school of Tibetan Buddhism, said, and I quote, with the realization of one's potential and self-confidence in one's ability, one can build a better world. You see, without self-confidence, success will be very difficult because if you don't believe in your ability, who else will? Or if you don't believe, how will you motivate yourself to take the necessary steps needed for success? In this video, I'll share with you 10 things you can do to boost self-confidence. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you would miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Stop comparing yourself to others. Comparing yourself to others is not healthy and can leave you in a depressed state. So, whether you are comparing yourself to a friend of yours who looks so good on social media or you are comparing your salary to that of your neighbors, you're only going to end up hurting yourself that way and putting yourself under unnecessary duress that can play on your confidence level. According to a 2018 study published in Personality and Individual Differences, found a direct link between envy and the way you feel about yourself. Researchers found that people who compared themselves to others experienced envy, and the more envy they experienced, the worse they felt about themselves. Thinking that others are better than you will make you feel bad about yourself, which in turn will mess with your self-confidence. So, avoid doing this. 2. Practice self-compassion. You deserve all the love and care in the world, and you should not wait for anyone to give you this attention and care when you can do a better job at it. Self-compassion involves treating yourself with kindness and forgiveness, especially when you make a mistake or when you fail. Rather than making yourself feel bad by calling yourself names or speaking rudely to yourself or any of those, cut yourself some slack and remind yourself that every other person makes mistakes from time to time as well. A good rule of thumb here is to speak to yourself in the same way that you'd speak to your mates. 3. Take care of your body. Parker Palmer, an American author, educator, and activist said, and I quote, Self-care is never a selfish act. It is simply good stewardship of the only gift I have, the gift I was put on earth to offer to others. If you keep abusing your body, you may never feel good about yourself. And when you don't feel good about yourself, your confidence level and self-esteem will be reduced. Several studies have shown over and over that physical activities boost confidence. Hence the need to exercise, sleep well, and eat healthily so that your body will be totally okay and healthy enough to boost your confidence. 4. Surround yourself with people who will boost your confidence. Find people who make you feel good about yourself and surround yourself with them. It might be hard at first because it might seem a little intimidating, but with time, you'll begin to understand the difference and then begin to feel good about yourself. 5. Focus on what you can change. It is easy to lose your confidence when you get caught up around all the many things that are out of your control. Instead of allowing yourself to get worked up, why not focus your energy on identifying the things that you can control so that you can begin to work on them? When you focus on the things that you can control, the result you begin to get from it will make you happy, which will in turn boost your confidence. 6. Embrace self-doubt Having self-confidence doesn't mean that fear and doubt won't arise. Do you know what? They will show up. However, you need to first acknowledge the presence of those doubts, which is as a result of low self-confidence, and then take a step to act irrespective. For instance, if you feel you'd mess up if you drive a car, tell yourself to try anyway, because unless you try, you may never gain the confidence you need to do it. So, embrace your fears and worries and do it anyway. 7. Remember that no one is perfect. Remember what we said earlier? Everyone makes mistakes. No one is perfect. You need to accept that perfection is an unrealistic goal. Also, 
For you to learn and grow, you need to make mistakes. By doing so, you'll learn better and be in a better position to make sound decisions in the future, boosting your self-confidence. 8. Think positively. List all the things that you are good at and begin to think about them. Also, what do you like about yourself? When you think about these things, they will make you feel good. Instead of thinking about the things you wish you could do better or thinking about how you're not good enough and the likes. You see, the mind is a very powerful instrument that can control a lot of the emotions we feel. Napoleon Hill, an American self-help author best known for his book, Think and Grow Rich, once said that what the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. So, if you begin to focus more on the things you like about yourself and the things you know how to do so well, you'll begin to feel great about yourself, thereby boosting your self-confidence. 9. Push yourself outside your comfort zone. When you push yourself to take up challenges outside your comfort zone, you'll begin to feel good about yourself because you have tested your abilities and you are now sure of your capabilities. This can make you feel confident enough to trust your judgment when trying out new things. I mean, if you've done it before, you can do it again. T. Harv Ecker, an American author, said, and I quote, If you are insecure, guess what? The rest of the world is too. Do not overestimate the competition and underestimate yourself. You are better than you think. Also, Dave Story said, have confidence that if you have done a little thing well, you can do a bigger thing well too. 10. Accept your flaws. To love yourself, you need to accept everything about you, including your weaknesses. No one is more special and unique than you. So, why allow yourself to feel bad because you have some weaknesses just like everyone else? Hold on a little. Let me whisper some things into your ears. No one will use your flaws against you once you accept them. Eleanor Roosevelt said, No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. I'm sure you know why it is important to boost your self-confidence. Well, according to author Ashi, an American professional tennis player, one important key to success is self-confidence. An important key to self-confidence is preparation. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this channel, we're happy to announce to you that our team has launched three other interesting channels. One of our new channels is called Hunt TV, where we publish inspirational videos to inspire and encourage you as you go through the harsh journey of life. Our second channel is called Fame TV, where we share with you the interesting and inspiring stories and biographies of the successful people who have achieved greatness with their lives. Our third channel is called Money TV, which is a channel designed to use more dramatic video clips to teach you about money. Look at the description box to join our three new channels. We love you.